Hey, what's going on, man? Welcome to a quick tutorial on how to add traffic to your Assetto Corsa map. The first thing you want to do is go to Two Reels Patron website, which I'm gonna link in the description below. You need to grab this exact folder. It's the 27 more cars for Traffic Planner 0.9. Uh, there is a 1.0, but it requires an upgrade, which I don't have because I'm on a basic membership at the moment. So uh, the idea is to download all these cars but obviously it's all zipped up once you've downloaded and extracted the traffic planner you can go into extensions lua tools and uh, the csp traffic tool is what you actually want so you can go ahead and copy that and in your c drive where your asset of cursor is installed you need to find the same location so you go to extension lua uh, you want tools and you place the csp traffic tool in here so what you want to do is replace the contents of this folder. You can literally go inside and copy and paste the content if the folder does not exist already. And that should do the trick. You need to go find a traffic map that you would like for yourself. So, so you have a map that you want traffic to be on. Then uh, what I did was I went on uh, race department and I searched for two-way traffic. Uh, amongst the ones I saw was this guy right here sydney west traffic realistic traffic simulation mod so i've gone ahead and downloaded that once you've downloaded the traffic map that you wanted go ahead and extract it and go into content tracks sydney free roam free, free roam you have to take a note of the actual name of the track that you're trying to update so you go into data copy the surfaces and traffic.json and you go to the exact same location in your C drive for Assetto Corsa. You need to find the content and then you need to find tracks. And you want Sydney. So I'm gonna type it out, I'm trying to find it here. There we go. And then remember when I said you need to remember what name of the track is itself that you downloaded. So you need to go into that. So you go into data and then you paste the content from your download file into there so i'm gonna do a paste it will ask you to replace some of the files usually it would ask you to replace the surfaces file but because i've actually um, added these files in here before it's asking me to replace both files which is not a problem i'm just going to replace them both and that should be good we can now go into content manager and should be able to then run the traffic on this map and we are now on content manager and we're gonna go straight to look for sydney sydney free roam and uh we're gonna choose that you need to make sure you choose the right track because there's different variations and this is the one we are messing about with is the free roam if you see the rest of them is traffic layout two and traffic layout one so we want the free roam version and you select ok to that and we can launch the game there we go and once you're in now you can go into drive uh, as you can see there's no traffic at the moment but what you need to do is look for object inspector um, it might not appear directly on your screen so you have to go into the all apps and look for it here open up object inspector you go to tools and you go to traffic planner and on the traffic planner, it says 71 cars uh, um, spawn nearby. So I can increase the number there and uh, you're gonna see a lot more cars. So the more cars you have there, the more traffic you're gonna get. As you can see, the traffic are now populating. We've got trucks, we've got cars, we've got every single one. So we can go ahead and have a drive and oh, there's a lot of traffic. So I'm gonna reduce it a little bit so we have less traffic. That's a lot more than we had before. There we go so once you've done all of that you can close it down and it won't be a problem so i can close these boxes here i'm gonna reset the traffic one more time so i can get out and then not have too much problem and i'm gonna close that and we're good to go and that's the end of the tutorial guys if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and also consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.